Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and recently Google has released Beta 4 for Android 12 and our guide of how to install it was pending so I thought might as well put out a video and show you guys how to install this wonderful port because very soon I'm pretty sure these guys at Bu Bubblegum team are going to put out a port of Beta 4 as well. So the flashing process for this ROM is a little different. We're going to follow that and we're going to have a boot. We've already done an initial impressions video on that. You can go ahead and have a look at that. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other on these topics so you can join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so what do we have here and what do we need? First of all, we have a Redmi K20 Pro with an unlocked bootloader and orange Fox TWRP installed. You need to make sure your phone has more than 50% battery and you need to have a custom recovery on an unlocked bootloader, of course. Make sure all the data on your phone's internal storage is backed up because the process that we are going to follow will include format data which will wipe everything on your phone's internal storage. Now, we are going to follow the lengthier route to be safe so that everyone gets to boot and enjoy Android 12. So we are going to follow the instructions as instructed in the group. Now what they do say is flash any AOSP ROM that is a custom ROM flash firmware of your region which is the latest one we're going to use 12.5.1 flash bubblegum ROM or bubblegum chat that is the Android 12 port after that you have to format and wipe all data and after that you have to flash DFE. Now in this case we are using a OTG cable along with a pen drive because this device doesn't have a SD card slot. If you wish you can go ahead and flash first and then you can do the format data part. So although we are here on Shapeshift OS but still I will show you the procedure from scratch. So first things first we will be booting into the TWRP recovery over here. So let's boot into recovery. All right, now in case you're encrypted, you will be asked to enter your password over here. So whatever your lock screen pattern or password is, you need to enter that over here. Wait for the device to get decrypted. Now once that is done, you can go ahead and you know, maybe format data, but first here, we will go ahead and select the USB OTG. These are the files we need. We will first flash the ROM, okay? and then we will flash the firmware and then we will flash android 12 beta and then do a format data so let's follow the procedure now even though we are encrypted over here i entered the password this will still work because after flashing everything we are going to do a format data right so first thing that we need to flash is the arrow os vanilla version there you go add more zips and then we will select the firmware add more zips and last android 12 right so swipe to confirm flash one by one these three files will flash now mm, there is no pet particular specific reason why i chose the oss version of uh, arrow os vanilla vanilla is a smaller size of download so you can choose that if you have one of the recent roms which are based on oss vendor you can go ahead and do that that will be file as well fine as well so let's wait for these three files to flash and then all we are left to do with is we have to go ahead and do a format data and then boot and see if it works fine or not. All right, now as you can see over here, it does say script succeeded, result was one. And scroll through the other files as well to make sure you've not received any errors. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to wipe format data and type in yes. Now remember the moment you click on this tick mark, everything on your phone's internal storage will be wiped. So do that. Okay. Now reboot system. The first boot will take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. So please be patient while that happens. Now the reason I've shown you this particular process is because if you are on MIUI and you're just installing Orange Fox and you want to follow the installation process of Android S Beta 3.1 or Android 12 Beta 3.1, you will first have to install a custom ROM which can be AeroS Vanilla latest version. Then you have to install the firmware and then you have to install the ROM. And after this, in case you want to stay decrypted, you can flash the DFE which is available in the Bubblegum chat group as well. So 
the link for all the files will be mentioned in the description you can go ahead and download them from there this is the boot logo it is the dark version it looks pretty pretty minimalistic and pretty pretty beautiful there you go there's an internal problem with your device it's a very regular warning android beta program and as you can see over here let's go to settings over here i know this is a little too bright for everyone's liking so let's reduce the brightness here maybe yeah so let's see over here let's go to about phone it says pixel 4a because this is a pixel 4a port and let's go to the android version the android version here is android 12 although we still have the android 11 easter egg and you have the august security patch and right out of the bat or right of the box it is working smooth as ever as you can see over here so this is a quick way of installing android 12 beta 3.1 on your redmi k20 pro the links are mentioned in the description and i think it's a very very easy guide to follow let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye